welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you are here, especially for today's video because something absolutely crazy, well, a couple of crazy things happened after we left a whole bunch of haunted locations. And I am so excited to share this story time with you guys and hear all of your guys' thoughts and opinions on it. But before we get into it, I do want to mention to you that I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic spooky season thus far. I have some of the best videos planned for the ending of October, so definitely keep your eyes peeled. But without further ado, let's get into this experience. Now, it is almost without fail that every single October when we're going from haunted location to haunted location, that strange things start to happen in all of our homes at various periods or even in hotel rooms that aren't supposed to be haunted following leaving a haunted location. So I was surprised that it has taken this long in this month for anything strange to happen, although I do think I know why it did. So if you guys have been on my channel, you guys would know that I have been heading out on a ton of spooky adventures, heading to multiple different haunted locations, exploring different places. There are some crazy places to come. But one thing that Mama Reese, Sarah, and I, and actually anybody that I go out and film with at said types of locations, always do is cleanse ourselves before and after leaving haunted places, some places more than others. And this particular day, let's just say we may have slipped up just a little bit. So on this particular day, we had lined up multiple locations, kind of like back to back. So we were spending a few hours in one place, a few hours in another place, late at night in another place. And so by the end of the night, as I'm sure you could assume, we were exhausted because not only is it exhausting to have a go, go, go day, but if you've ever been in haunted locations or been ghost hunting or even lived in haunted locations, a lot of times you can feel your energy start to be drained because there's so much energy within the room. At least that's been my personal experience. I find my electronics, myself, just everything kind of feels like ugh, drained at the end of the night. And so that's usually when we cleanse ourselves and, you know, we protect ourselves. But on this night, filming went much later than we had realized. So we decided to just go home without realizing that none of us had cleansed ourselves. Now, how we normally do this for going out to haunted locations just to save on gas, and honestly, we enjoy spending time together, is we will typically, well, I will typically drive to Sarah's house, leave my Jeep at her house, get into her car, and then go pick my mama up, and then all kind of go together. It's very rare that we meet up at locations, depending on the day, but typically that's how we do it. So as soon as I left Sarah's car and got into my car and started heading home, it was really dark back roads that I was going down and I started feeling like there was something in like the rear view mirror behind me. Now, if you guys have been watching my videos recently, you would know that when Lana and I went to a couple locations, we had some visitors follow back in Lana's truck and go home with her. So I started thinking to myself that I was just playing tricks on myself because I was tired. It had been a very spooky day and I was thinking of Lana. So I was like, Haley, stop it. Nothing came in the car with you. There's no one in your backseat. You're totally fine. So the whole ride, I just have like this kind of eerie feeling that like I'm being watched and there's someone in the backseat. So much so that I'm like dreading looking in my rear view mirror because I feel like it's going to be a real life jump scare at any given point in time. But I just keep going home and everything's fine. I get to the house, come inside, and my two dogs, as per usual, are like so excited to see me. Now the front entry of the house was like the lights were off when I came home, but I turned them on as I'm putting down my equipment, taking my shoes off. But as I'm walking towards to say hi to my dogs, which normally are so excited to see me, I notice that both my dogs, attention starts to shift pretty quickly and they now seem like they're looking behind me. But keep in mind, I had turned the lights on because I was about to get situated. So I'm like, what are you guys looking at? And I'm kind of looking at them because they're on like that alert stance with their ears like really attentive and they're staring at the exact same spot like behind me, almost to like the corner of where the door opens. And I start to notice their fur standing up and they start growling. So I'm starting to get a little paranoid. Like, what do you guys see that's behind me? Because remember, I felt like something was behind me pretty much the whole ride home. So I, I call them over and I'm like, look guys, there's nothing here. There's nobody there. And I write it off as maybe they saw like car lights pass by because sometimes they will growl and bark in the night if like a car is like reversing in front of our house and they see the lights, they think someone's coming. So I kind of wrote it off as that. But Tyler and I were both like, that was a little creepy. And I told him like, I kind of had a weird feeling that something was behind me in general. So not very settling after a day of ghost hunting, but 
Nonetheless, I come inside, I put all my stuff away, I get situated, I go upstairs to take a shower, get in my PJs and go downstairs to kind of like start going through all of the footage that we had accumulated and catch Tyler up on our adventures. Now we're sitting downstairs, just on the couch, the both of us, and the dogs are with us. And all of a sudden we hear upstairs what sounds like walking, like very hard walking though, like not like faint walking. So we both assume initially that it's blue because my French bulldog will get the zoomies and occasionally downstairs isn't enough for her. So we'll just like hear her, she snuck upstairs and we'll just hear her like running the hallways, getting all her energy and then coming back downstairs. So we look at each other and we're like, is that blue? But it sounded different than blue because you know, blue has four legs and so it's like ba -ba 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 -ba, not boom, boom, boom type thing. But that was just what we assumed it was. So we start thinking like, what is she doing up there? when we look over and realize that both Blue and Ace are sleeping on the couch with us. So now we're both looking at each other. Keep in mind, it's late at night, right? I got home late. We're settled down and everything's spookier at night. And the two weird things had already happened. So we're looking at each other like, what the heck is that? So we turn on the upstairs light, we come upstairs, we're both like walking through the house like we're in a horror film. Sure enough, there's absolutely nobody up here. Absolutely nothing. The dogs are running around looking. They're not alerting to anything. So Tyler looks at me and goes, you better not have brought something home, Haley. Because our one like rule is I can go to any haunted location I want, go do what I wanna do, but don't bring it home to where we live because we have enough strange things in our neighborhood with passing through ghosts as it is. We have a haunted house update coming. Wait till you guys hear it, but anyways. So he looks at me jokingly and he's like, you better not have brought something home. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I hope not. So I go downstairs and I wanted to show him some of the footage of the locations. And the moment that I plug my memory card in and go to like open up to where I should have all the different folders um, with all the different videos within the folders, clips from the day kind of start popping up on the screen. Like as if I clicked a whole bunch of them and now it's like coming up like it was lagging. And there's a weird noise that comes out of my computer. Now I am no stranger to electronic problems, both paranormally and both normally. I work on my computer pretty much all day, every day. So that thing goes through the ringer. So I have like electric, electronic issues as is, but especially when I'm working on paranormal stuff, I will have like little glitches and whatnot. So I just start saying like, okay, maybe there's a spirit here. Like maybe this is some sort of paranormal activity, but I couldn't pinpoint what was going on because I couldn't pinpoint where it came from if it had came from wherever we went because we went to multiple locations. I start going to edit the footage and I'm pulling up the footage and as I'm like editing through it and like crazy parts are coming up within like my footage or my spirit box or things that we hear, my computer screen just goes black, like almost as if it died. So I start hitting like the trackpad and it will turn back on and I still have full battery. So I plug in my computer even though it was pretty much full because I'm like, this is so strange. And it just kept doing it, but only at like strange parts throughout the video. And if you guys want, I can go back for like another video and show you if I can remember the parts specifically that it was happening for said videos. But I was just like, what the heck is happening here? So I decided to like just call it a night because I was tired and my computer was being wonky and whatever. So I close up my computer and Tyler looks at me and goes like, no, seriously, do you think you brought something home? And I look at him and I'm like, oh my goodness we didn't cleanse ourselves like after leaving the space like we didn't cleanse ourselves energetically i had my protection crystals on me and i was cleansed from before but we went to so many different locations didn't cleanse in between them and didn't cleanse afterwards so tyler's like we're getting out all all the means to cleanse we cleanse ourselves the entire house from top to bottom even my dogs just like everything and anything and i even went out and cleansed my jeep because i was like if someone was riding back with me i don't know and i was saying to tyler like it could be such a friendly fun spirit but it was so at like it was so prominent right from the beginning that like I could just imagine how it would keep progressing. So we cleansed ourselves, cleansed the house, and since then, knock on wood, besides our usual shenanigans that happens here, nothing else has really happened. I think the only thing that had me more unsettled about it, because you guys know, like doing what I do, of course I'm gonna attract spirits. Of course, if I don't cleanse myself, there may be some attachments and whatnot. Um, but I don't get afraid very often, but I did find it odd that my dogs both were on alert and growling. I didn't like that too much. But yeah, that is basically what happened after a day of ghost hunting. Moral of the story, no matter how tired you are, cleanse yourself, protect your energy, keep your vibration high. Um, I thought it was funny and I wanted to share it with you guys because I've been getting so many questions and like comments being like, has anything crazy been happening this Halloween? Crazy stuff always happens during the spooky season. and. Uh, 
yeah, they're not disappointing. So I would definitely love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this. Do you think it was coincidence? Do you think we were paranoid and overtired? Or do you think maybe a little something followed me home? And if so, do you think it was a Casper? Or do you think I, I did a good thing by cleansing quickly? Let me know in the comment section below. And that's it for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my content, I would seriously love it if you'd go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it remember my loves do all things with kindness and until next time cleanse yourself and i love you bye guys